Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're filming new makeup releases, episode number 16. In case you guys hadn't noticed, I think we're just gonna move new makeup releases for a little while, at least temporarily, because I can film these on Monday during my daughter's nap time, which is exactly what I'm doing today. So you guys are gonna be watching this on Tuesday. I hope that's okay for now. And yeah, you guys know I'm excited to talk about some new makeup releases, so let's go ahead and get into it. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I'm like 36 weeks pregnant and I'm due in the month of May, so we're gonna have a baby soon, which is why things are a little bit kind of here and there on my channel. And I've been like prepping my subscribers that are always coming back. I'm like, okay, you guys, like we're getting closer. So if you guys are new, don't be like alarmed or anything, but I just like to warn you guys so I don't just completely disappear off the internet. I don't know how much time I'll take away, what my schedule will be like, we don't know yet. So yeah, I just like to give you guys a heads up, but I love talking about new makeup releases, so I'm gonna stop droning on and on, and without further blabbering, let's get into it. So if you guys are curious about this look, I was definitely inspired by my friend Angelica. She had the most beautiful yellow look on in her new makeup releases video on Friday, so I was like, okay, I wanna try it too. So. This is the best that I could do, but yeah, I know that I'm wearing a bunch of new makeup on my face today, so this will be up probably tomorrow. Testing new makeup, episode 18. I have stuff that I bought during the Sephora sale. I have some drugstore makeup, and this eyeshadow palette is getting announced very, very soon, so that one's gonna be a little secret for a little while. You won't have to wait too, too long, but... The rest of it will be on my channel tomorrow. I'm so excited for you guys to see what I picked up during the Sephora sale. And if you guys are shopping the Sephora sale, I did post a Sephora recommendations video plus my wish list. Oh my gosh, I'm sure you guys were just as overwhelmed when the sale started. Like everybody started posting their affiliate links and so I understand it's crazy, but if you guys are able to, please support your favorite influencers. Use their links. It doesn't cost you anything. I think if you're using like Ebates or like Rakuten or whatever those things are, I don't know if that works with the affiliate links. I'm not sure, but either which way, I think it's so helpful if you guys can do it. So thank you so much in advance for using my links. And I always have my links and discount codes in a pinned comment right below this video so if you guys want to shop i like number everything it takes me forever to fill out that comment so i just want to mention this is a new eyeshadow palette that's coming out soon testing new makeup will be up tomorrow and all my links and codes are always in a pinned comment so to kind of show you guys to give you a little bit of a hint of what is on my eyes. The brand Ace Beauté started sneak peeking some things. So I will post the picture. Actually, let me slide over. So they posted this picture and as you can see, it's a makeup vanity, so beautiful with all the Ace Beauté products. And then we have four palettes. It says Begonia, Fleur, Flora, and Cala. So you can clearly see there's like a burgundy palette, a purple palette, a yellow palette, and a neutral palette. So I'm really excited because I think these are going to be hopefully permanent and they're definitely more neutrally shades from Ace Beauté. I feel like a lot of their current line is more of a colorful kind of vibe, which I love, but I think this will definitely give more people the opportunity to try stuff from them. Also, if you haven't been paying attention to my YouTube community tab, they've been having an amazing sale going on. So it started on Monday and I posted about Monday sale. So they're doing like a different sale every day this week. So if you guys have been wanting to try Ace Beauté, now might be your chance because a lot of their collections are gonna be on sale on different days of the week. 
and we clearly have a new launch coming as well so very very excited about that and I am an affiliate with the brand so I do have a discount code as well that will apply additionally on top of the current sales they're running so you can use KH Makeup on their website to save so yeah I'm excited for their new palettes for their current sale, all of the things, all of the things guys. So there's my major hint on what is on my eyes today, okay? <laughs> so let me go see here, let's start off, usually I go to Trend Mood, but let's start off with my save stuff because I've seen a lot of things online on Instagram and stuff like that that I would like to chit chat about. Now we did talk about the Alice collection from ColourPop, but I actually ended up getting it in PR and I can't remember, I think I posted my video on Wednesday, the day I got the PR and then the collection launched on Thursday. So if you haven't seen it, highly recommend checking out my video. It also launched on Ulta's website now, so if you wanted to buy certain pieces, you can do that on the Ulta website. And go check out my video if you want to see my thoughts. And then this is something I'm supposed to get in PR. I haven't gotten it yet. But we have from Lethal, they're launching the new Wildflower collection. So it says, meet Wildflower palette that takes inspiration from the ethereal charm of nature's most delicate blooms. 12 new eyeshadows, 5 mattes, 1 of them neon, 1 satin, 4 duochromes, and 2 triochromes. So there's a breakdown of all of the eyeshadows and Lethal always posts like a video with swatches and like a lot of details on their newest launches. So if you want to see swatches, highly recommend checking out that video. I do have a code with Lethal. It's just a discount code that you can use on their website. If you would like to say I don't make anything from that. And then they also sometimes launch at Camera Ready Cosmetics. So I will put all the information I have on this collection in that pinned comment for you guys to check out, but I'm so excited. And then they are launching new blushes, which they have matte blushes, but these like marble shimmer blushes are so beautiful. So they have Aster Dandelion, which is a bumblebee yellow with light gold pearl. I cannot wait to get my hands on that blush because I think it's gonna be absolutely stunning. And then they have Carnation and Pansy. And then they have four new lip creams, which are such a nice formula. I really like those. They're lightweight and they're opaque and absolutely beautiful. So I'm so, so excited for this collection. It is going to be launching on April 21st at 4 p.m. CEST time. And that's 10 a.m. Eastern time, which I believe would then be 9 a.m. my time. Yeah. So I will definitely have a community tab post go up to remind you guys in case you're interested in this, but I'm so excited for this, you guys. I can't wait to see this collection, so let me know if you guys are interested in it as well because I love knowing what you guys think. Okay, next we have from Divina. So they are launching a new collection as well. This is launching on the 22nd. And that's Saturday at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard. And it's two collections, actually. So we have Mystic Cove, which looks to me like a mermaid vibe. And then they have Sea of Shadows. And this one, I don't know, but they are posting swatches. So it looks like there's six eyeshadows in, or seven eyeshadows in Sea of Shadows. And then Mystic Cove, they've just started showing the shades. So I have a lot of singles from Divina. I have kind of taken it a little bit easy on singles these days just because I love eyeshadow palettes. It's just more my vibe to like sit and play with eyeshadow palettes and like pre-curated color stories. But Divina has such a special place in my heart because they have such beautiful special eyeshadows. So if you're interested in this launch, again, I'll try and remember to post on my community tab so you guys don't miss it, but I'm very, very excited to see Davina launch something new. They are a small indie brand. So yeah, I'm super, super excited about that. And then the other thing I had in my save folder is the new launch from Colored Rain. 
So they launched these, what is this called? So it's the ready for foundation that looks like skin, colored rain, multi-use sticks, available in 26 shades in an all clean formula. So these are gluten free, talc free, like the whole list is on there. And yeah, it looks interesting. For some reason, this packaging reminds me of Flower Beauty. I don't know why. I think it's just the white with the text. It reminds me of Flower Beauty. Anybody else? I don't know. Tell me if I'm crazy. It's totally fine. But I have been just like trying to think like, what do I want to try? What do I want to buy during the Sephora sale? Because there's so many new things that are like available on Sephora right now. And I'm like, you know, I'm just so happy with all the foundations I have. I've been loving the Gucci foundation, the NYX foundation the KVD foundation. So I'm like very content with my foundation collection right now, but I always love seeing a black owned brand do a foundation line because people of color just in general, I think it's lovely when they have options or when we have options. So I'm excited to see people review that particular stick foundation. If more people try it, I'd love to see it. Okay, then the last thing on here is Viseart relaunched their Koi palette. So this is in their petite size, which is something they're doing now is just smaller palettes, which I love. Just makes it easier because I don't know if you guys are like me, but I buy a lot of eyeshadow. And if I can buy less for less money, I'm down to do that because I can't tell you guys the last time I panned an eyeshadow palette. I definitely used to when I was first on Beauty YouTube, but I mainly love trying new eyeshadow palettes, so it hardly ever happens for me, which is fine. It's part of the it's part of the gig, right? But yeah, I think it's fun that Wizzy Art's been downsizing their palettes and making them more affordable. Because when I first started watching YouTube, like Wizzy Art was like the coveted palettes because they were kind of a pro brand. And so it's nice that they're making their products accessible for everyday consumers as well. Okay, so I'm heading over to Trend Mood right now and we have from YSL the new Halo Tint Highlighter with Vitamin E, hydrating liquid highlighter formulated with super fine light reflecting micro pearls to give natural radiant glowing skin, $28. So honestly, I'm not really interested in this because I just have so many like liquid highlighters right now. I just told you guys I'm testing out these e.l.f. ones, so I don't need it, but I did see that it is available as part of the Sephora sale. And then from Beauty Blender, we have the Boost 18 Hour Firming and Smoothing Peptide Ceramide Primer for $29. It's a cooling sorbet gel with peptides, ceramides and a mimosa flower extract to visibly lift, hydrate, and reduce the appearance of fine lines for a radiant finish. I don't think this is available yet, but honestly, I feel like Beauty Blender does have decent products, but the Beauty Blender itself is like so much a part of their brand. I don't know that people really like think of them when they're thinking of makeup, but that sounds like a promising primer. You guys know me, I'm not like big into trying primers, so I probably won't get that, but I did end up buying a primer during the Sephora sale, so you never know, I guess. I should never say never. Next we have from Trend Mood, I saw these. They're so expensive. This is the Tom Ford Liquid Lip Luxe Matte. Long lasting, buildable, and transfer resistant, this lipstick melts luxuriously onto lips with a cloud-like consistency, visibly smoothing and blurring fine lines. 10 shades for $59. Isn't that crazy? Although I can't remember off the top of my head how much the Hourglass lipsticks are. These are expensive. I do like that the Tom Ford shades are available during the Sephora sale. So at least if you're a rouge, you can save some money. But holy mackerel, like $60 for a lipstick? That's like a little bit more than what I'm willing to spend. I'm trying to think what my most expensive lipstick is. I can't recall off the top of my head, but Oh my gosh, that just seems so pricey. And honestly, I'm not really that into any of these shades. I will say, if you don't know already, I'm trying not to buy lipsticks. Even though I did buy some during the Sephora sale, I am trying not to buy. A lipstick declutter is needed. It's just not gonna happen right now with my life, but 
I think I'll do it this summer. Like I was determined to do it at the start of the year because I did do some declutters for Vlogmas this past year, but I don't think I'm realistically gonna be able to film a lipstick declutter at this point in my life. So probably when I get some spare time this summer, I will do that then. Okay, this I'm kind of contemplating. I don't wanna spend $38 on a blush right now because I did just get the Blend Bunny blushes and I got these e.l.f. things and I have three of the blushes. I feel like I probably have blush somewhere else too. But anyway, we got a lot of blush in this household, but these are calling to me. These are the Armani Luminous Silk Glow Blushes and I really want this shade called Offbeat. It's in my cart. I should probably buy it before it sells out. So it says it's a silky powder blush that visibly smooths skin's texture and delivers a luminous yet natural looking flush of color. A soft focus buildable formula with a glowy effect. <sighs> I love that. I love the fact that it's a glowy effect. I'm here for it. I think I'm gonna get one. This is another thing that's in my Sephora card. So Sephora launched Sephora Colorful Face Powders, Blush, Bronzer, Highlight, and Contour. And you can get 30% off because they're Sephora brand. So I didn't see the contours though. I don't know, did I miss something? I'll have to take a peek, but I know I definitely threw one into my Sephora cart. So I'll probably have to grab that and see. And then here, this looks like a Kiko ad. You see, like this to me, I feel like is an ad. Obviously, I'm just speculating, but the way Trend Mood goes for Kiko, it's like, are people even buying this stuff? And it's available in Europe. So this is the Beauty Roar Collection. Half of the caption is the products. I don't really have a lot to say about it. I'll just throw up a picture for you guys to see it. It's not something I'm interested in, so yeah, it's an easy, easy pass for me. Okay, so we are seeing that James Charles announced his new beauty brand, painted by James Charles. It's coming summer 2023. Honestly, I just can't relate <laughs> to James Charles, and I feel like my friend Angie kind of covered just kind of what was going on with him. There was like a lot of controversy with him admitting to dating underage people and all of this stuff that I don't know enough to speak on. I've never really got the hype with James Charles. Like I think that I'm a little bit over that like age group that stan him. Like I think he's a little bit younger than me. So I never really like caught on to the hype. I think that there was a lot of good that came from when he broke out to the beauty industry because it made boys and men in makeup like very much more mainstream because he was the first, I believe, male cover girl, which I mean, that's huge, right? If you think of like what a slow moving giant some of these drugstore brands are, like they're big, big companies, like taking steps like that is huge. But I feel like there's also a lot of like bad that's come out of this whole situation and him being as big as he is when it comes to being a creator. So I don't have a lot to say. I'll definitely see and like look at what um, the brand comes out with, but I don't plan on covering the brand. So yeah, if you guys want to chat more about it, I would love to have um, a discussion, but just keep it respectful. We don't need to name call or anything like that, which nobody usually does that on my comment section. But just in case, I don't want I don't want people attacking me. I don't want people attacking each other. We're all grown ups here. Okay, next we have from Fenty. This is the new Gloss Bomb Heat in Glass Slipper. This is a clear hybrid lip gloss and plumper. I think I have a heat gloss. I think I do. I think I have like a caramel shade or is that a different formula? I don't know. I don't actually like the original gloss bombs, so I'm not really into it. Actually, I don't think I've tried the heat formula. I'm not sure. Either which way, I know people love this stuff. It says it's gonna be available at Ulta, so yeah, I'm sure that'll be such a hit for the brand. 
And then we have this new eyeshadow palette from Byredo. So this is the Metal Boost in the show. Byredo 5 Pigment Housed in a Distinctive Metal Raindrop Compact. So, I mean, I feel like Byredo is like, every time we do this, I feel like we have a new Byredo palette. So, clearly somebody at Byredo is very, very hard at work. Personally, I'm not interested in a five pan palette like that, so it's going to be an easy skip for me. And then we have this. This is so random. I don't really talk about fragrances. I don't even know what brand this is from, but um, is this an April Fool's joke? It's a Fanta Soda wearable Fanta orange scented fragrance. This is so weird. I don't know what the brand is. Like, is Fanta having a pop-up and they're launching a Fanta fragrance scent? I mean, I love orange, so it sounds like it could be right up my alley, but do I want to smell like Fanta? I'm, I'm not 100% sure about that, so we'll see. We'll see what the reviews are. And then we have from Versali. I think this is their first new product since they came back. This is the Reset... Renewal Fluid Cream Brighten Smooth Firm, a multitasking serum. Okay, whatever. The packaging is cute. You guys know I love green. Other than that, I'm not really that interested. So I'm just going to gloss on over that. And I think that's it for Trend Mood. There is a palette I wanted to talk to you guys about as well that I was sent in PR and I haven't been able to film anything with it yet, but I figured I should at least show it to you guys. So this is the latest launch from Alter Ego. This is their Coastal palette. It is a dupe to a Huda palette. And I know that people always have different kind of um, opinions on dupes. I personally don't love dupes, but I also feel like not everybody is wanting to spend hundreds of dollars on expensive eyeshadow palettes like I do, so I get it. And so if you want to pick this up, it is available. I will try and do something with this if you guys are interested, but I do have a discount code with them. It's just Karen10, I believe, for Alter Ego if you want to save some extra money. I also love their lip products and their eyeshadow brushes are really good too. So. If you're wanting to shop Alter Ego, I just wanted to let you know that I do have the palette. If you guys want me to test it out, just let me know in the comments because I just haven't had a ton of time and I'm trying to prioritize the releases as best as I can, but I think I'll have some time maybe to get a video done with that. Okay, y'all, and then the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about are these new brushes from What's Up Beauty. They are available now. I had actually put them in a testing new makeup. I can't remember which episode, but these are their new brush set and it's six new premium brushes, handmade in Japan with uncut and undyed goat hair bristles. This new set was purpose built for detail work, hooded and small eyes, and there are six of them. Honestly, these brushes are so great. They're like perfect for the little details. I'll put a picture up of them. I just need to clean mine so they're upstairs. Oh my gosh, I'm so behind on cleaning my brushes. But they are so, so lovely as well, just like their first set. So I truly treasure when brands send me brushes because they are so pricey. And so I love having good quality brushes and I've had no problems with my first set. So very, very happy that they developed a second set as well. Okay, friends, I think that is it for this new makeup releases episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, there's a lot of new exciting stuff coming closer to the end of the week. So definitely stay tuned to my community tab. Let me know what products you picked up during the Sephora sale or what products you have your eye on just in general, because you guys know I am nosy and I love chatting about makeup with you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a fabulous week and I will see you in a new video tomorrow. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.